Greetings and welcome. I'm Dr. Kyle Murray with Atlas Brain and Spine. In this video, we will be taking the time to explain the sympathetic nervous system and the parasympathetic nervous system and why they are so important to know while under upper cervical chiropractic care. Here we go. Your nervous system is absolutely incredible. It is a sprawling network of nerves and cells. All these nerves and cells work together to regulate and send information that governs the vital functions of your body. Within the nervous system, there are many branches. One of these branches is called the autonomic nervous system, which mainly acts unconsciously. Now within the autonomic nervous system, there are two branches. You have the parasympathetic nervous system and the sympathetic nervous system. We're gonna jump into the differences right now. The parasympathetic nervous system, commonly abbreviated as PSNS, controls what's commonly called the rest and digest functions of the body. These functions are designed to maintain the body's internal environment while regulating the automatic functions like digestive functions, sexual functions, and to promote the natural healing state within the body. This system keeps you alive without you even having to think about it. Now, a few key effects of the PSNS, saliva and mucus production, stomach and intestine activation and motility, which means movement, decreased heart rate, pupil constriction, and several other effects. Now moving on to the sympathetic nervous system, which is commonly abbreviated as SNS, is the driving force behind the body's fight or flight response. The fight or flight response will trigger many different physiological changes within the body to prepare the body to either confront the current threat stimuli, which is the fight, or to run away from the threat stimuli, which is the flight. Now, one of my favorite analogies to use here is a line analogy. So imagine that a line has just entered into the room that you're at. Are you just gonna sit there very calm? I know very few people who would be doing that. Right? Most likely you're either going to be jumping up ready to fight the thing or running away trying to jump out a window or sneaking past it to be able to escape. Those are two natural responses and that's the fight or flight mode that we're talking about. Now during this time, when the lion enters into the room, your body is going to be releasing adrenaline. Adrenaline is released into your bloodstream by the adrenal gland. This causes changes on a physiological level to prepare the body to fight or flight. The effects of the sympathetic nervous system or the sympathetic state while you're in that fight or flight mode will increase your heart rate. It'll supply the blood to your muscles so that they are nice and oxygenated. It'll increase the airflow to your lungs. It'll dilate your eyes so you can see more of the things around you and many more effects. Just like the parasympathetic nervous system, these processes happen fast without you even having to think about it. Doc, enough with the science. Why are you, an upper cervical chiropractor, talking about the nervous system? Great question. <laughs> Let's talk about it. So within upper cervical chiropractic care, remember that the whole thing that we're aiming for is the reduction of the atlas subluxation complex. And you can find an in-depth video right up here for that. Now the ASC will cause the body to go into a state of sympathetic. Now the ASC is the misalignment of the first bone in the neck causing then an impingement onto the brainstem. This will decrease communication from the brain to the rest of the body, which then leads to dis-ease or a decrease in function across the board in the body. Now, really importantly, how then is this tying to the sympathetic and the parasympathetic? Well, it goes by this. When the atlas shifts out of place, your body is then going into a state of fight or flight because you have an impingement at the brainstem level that's decreasing that communication. When we go in and correct that ASC back to its proper position to allow the body to begin to restore its proper communication, that brings about the body's natural healing process, which is a parasympathetic dominant state. So when your body's in that parasympathetic dominant state, your body's able to rest, you're gonna to begin to digest, to heal, and to be able to sleep better so that the body is able to progress and get you out of a state of dis-ease and move you into a state of ease. So your body begins the process of healing. Now, once you're in that parasympathetic dominant state, you'll be able just to sit calmly, your body will be relaxed as that lion walks right on past you. Once again, my name is Dr. Kyle Murray here with atlasbrainspine.com. On this video would be helpful, please, please, please take a second to like and subscribe to our channel so that we can get more of this type of information to the people that need it. In addition, ring that little notification bell so that you can be notified when our next video comes out so you can be the first to watch it. If you have any questions, please drop them in the comments below and I'll respond back to you. 
When you begin to heal your brain, remember you will truly begin to heal your pain. God bless you, and we'll see you in the next video.